Of course I watch the Super Bowl. Well, here's the thing, I'm always a part of a Super Bowl party. So like I go to the party and like I drink a little bit, but not too much, but like I enjoy. Okay. You know what I mean? But I'm not just like football. What just happened? <laughs> Let's talk about Super Bowl commercials. Naomi Campbell is having a moment and I am here for it. Sundance Film Festival, it's freezing, but people are still bringing out the fashion. Do you like my side swoop today? Yeah. My wink is gonna improve soon, I think. Oh, Kristen Chenoweth, Avocados from Mexico, Super Bowl. Let me just tell you, it was one of my favorites for the pure fact that Kristen Chenoweth was in it. She is such a star to me. I've seen her live. I've seen her sing, tell jokes. She's fantastic. I liked her haircut. That's really what I was focusing on during the entire commercial. Short hair, chic. I know Pepsi has made some mistakes in recent history. The Cardi B, Steve Carell, a Lil John commercial was so brilliant. I don't know how this didn't come about sooner. Doritos Chance the Rapper commercial was the only one that I was a little bit like, yeah, what's happening? I love Chance. I love that he's still wearing that three hat. I like the Backstreet Boys that brings me back to seventh grade when I was like trying to go to the school dance with Andrew and then he has Pauline, but I'm over it now. But I just wasn't sure about what the point was. And I felt like the two musical breakdowns of each artist was like a little too long. It didn't mesh, it didn't merge, it didn't sync. Oh, I'm looking around to everyone in the room. The Stella Artois SJP commercial, I needed a minute to myself after. It's iconic, you immediately know what it's about. You feel like those women are walking towards you. It really made me nostalgic for Sex in the City. It makes me want the girls to get over it and just move on and do another movie. And I was against that. And then like the cameo by the dude. I liked that the dude was like, Artois. And she was like, Artois. When Naomi Campbell walked the Haute Couture Valentino show for the first time in 14 years, cause she is a savage, looking all sorts of incredible, giving us cheekbones for lunch and giving us a little nipple. Naomi brings a cheekbone, a walk, and a nipple. And hair, all the time, looking perfect. Have I told you the thing that Naomi Campbell and I have in common? Oh, really? Same birthday. Yeah, legends born on this day. The 22nd of May. Who has a stunning birthday like that? Like who even created that day? Like the 22nd of May? It's like a wedding invitation just handed to you through birth. She was recently spotted on a date with Liam Payne? Oh, they're actually out and about now. They're not just commenting to each other. Which definitely means they were fornicating at some point. Liam and Naomi started flirting on social media. He commented on Naomi's photo saying, perfection in, perfection in a person, don't give me that face. Which was, don't, don't give me those eyes. Liam, could you make it easier next time and do an emoji? That'd be a lot more helpful. It's not sonnet writing, bro. Just like shoot a DM like the rest of us do. I don't really know what I feel about Naomi and Liam. I mean, obviously they're both attractive, but I just feel like Naomi's such a legend. I don't see her with this young boy bander. She's like dating billionaires on a yacht. You know what I mean? Boat realty is a real thing. You got a boat? Let's talk about Demi Moore in Derek Lamb pants. I'm loving the play on color. I'm loving the plaid. I love the pink jacket. I like the use of color. Brad Goreski killed this look. And she, for whatever reason, does not age ever. And that hair is still shiny, long. I don't know what the hell she's eating, but it's doing something for her vitamins. Shia LaBeouf and FKA Twigs are dating. FKA Twigs in vintage Vivian Westwood and Jean Paul Gaultier pants. She looks like the perfect princess pirate and I'm so here for it. It is so cool. It gives you so much of that early 80s fashion. It's so Jean-Paul Gaultier if you know him. Adore it, love it. I'm happy that Shy is still moving and shaking and showering. You know, I'm happy he's out and about and I like him in this sort of fringy coat. He's getting cool, she makes him cool. Issa Gonzalez, hot. Gorgeous girl. Love the leather pants. Love the like Ralph Lauren-esque jacket over. Love the white shirt tucked in, looks crisp. I love the bow. Amazing. I love her. She's very cute. Have you seen her on Instagram on that paddle board? You guys should look at that. Oh, Zac Efron. Zac Efron looks cute. He really is yummy dreamy, huh? I really like him in this oversized sort of aviator jacket. I like the color of it. I like the kind of white t-shirt and jeans. I like that he plays it simple, but still sort of edgy. I like the white chucks. He looks good. He looks like a cool guy. I love when a hot guy goes platinum blonde. We all want to do it. Why can't they do it? It works for him. I've never been to Sundance. Unless I'm in a movie at Sundance, why am I going to Sundance? Inconvenient, traveling, cold, fur. But I'll definitely go to Sundance next year if someone asks me to, you know what I mean? What to do after watching that amazing clip? You need to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You need to subscribe to the E2 YouTube, bitch too. Nope. You need to subscribe to the E! YouTube channel to get more necessary realness and other hot topics. You would not want to miss a single episode. Oh, you're screaming at me in front of people? That's f insane.